In this video, I want to talk about the, the importance of getting a good occlusal scan. This is the foundation of our, of our scan. It's like the foundation of a building. It's like the outside pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. It's like the scaffolding. It's like the steelwork of a skyscraper. If we get a good occlusal scan in place, everything else should follow through. If we get a bad occlusal scan in place, well then it's going to be very difficult for us to get a good and reliable overall scan. So let's start off on Jack's lower arch. So you can open up for me, turn towards me please. So let's start off with a good occlusal scan. And what we see here is the inspect mode. We can see that we've captured a nice level of occlusal detail, a nice level of buccal detail, and lingual detail as well. And we have some information there on, on the incisors. And that's a really good occlusal scan because there's two primary objectives to our occlusal scan. One, to capture the occlusal surfaces, and two, to capture some buccal and some lingual information. That's where we want to be. We don't want to we're not going to rock over the scan, over the arch as we sweep around and try and capture buccal and lingual at the same time. It's one steady sweep all the way around the arch, make sure we capture the occlusal detail and a little bit of buccal and a little bit of lingual. So that's a really good occlusal scan that we've got there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to go through a bad occlusal scan. So you can open up again, turn towards me, please. So primary objective number one, have we captured the occlusal detail? Yes, we have. And you'll argue there that, well, actually, we've captured lots of lingual information as well. But at what cost? And that is the cost is the, the buccal information. We have very, very little buccal information, a little bit there in the left molar, left premolar, and that's it, nothing else. So the result of that is that we're going to end up with number one we're not sure how accurate and how reliable that inter arch width is and number two when we come to doing the buccal scan there's a risk that it may not stitch properly so i'm going to try and simulate that now so can open up for me so we start off occlusal on the left roll over buckle i'm going to sweep around i'm going to try and do it in one sweep as well And as we try and push back then the software stops clicking we get our red box but we managed to get there now if we take a look at this what have we got going on you'll see everything seems to be stitching together nicely on the left hand side where we started but as we sweep around what we end up happening what ends up happening is that the the buckle scan doesn't appear to be stitching correctly with the, the occlusal scan and the lingual scan. If we turn off the color, we get to see that a lot clearer. And in fact, there we go, look at that. So you can see there's a huge discrepancy between the buccal scan and the original occlusal scan. And the reason for that is because the software didn't have any occlusal detail to, sti to stitch onto. When we're scanning, we like for the we like to have the occlusal surface, a little bit of buccal and a little bit of lingual. So when we come and do the buccal surface, the new scan information is something to stitch onto, and similarly on the lingual surface. So the result is, if we don't get that occlusal scan done correctly, this is what happens. And we could go in and try and scan that and try and fix it up and roll from lingual over to buccal and, and try and patch it up. The only thing is, we don't know what we're trying to patch up. We don't know what, what's good and what's bad. And the only solution here really is to hit clear scan and be done with it. That's the best thing to do. So I've shown you a good occlusal scan. I've shown a bad occlusal scan. Now I'm going to show a typical occlusal scan. Let's see how this one works out. So again, turn towards me, please. Head back, relax. Okay, so we've got the colour off there. 
This is a typical occlusal scan. You can see, again, we've captured all the occlusal detail. And on the posterior region, we've captured a nice level of lingual detail and of buccal detail as well. However, on the incisors, you can see we're missing quite a bit of detail. And really from three to three, we're missing all of the buccal detail there on those teeth. And that'd be quite typical. The reason being because the teeth are flared out and it would be a tendency for us to hold the scanner. If this is the, the tooth, we hold the scanner maybe a little bit like this. So we're, the scanner is only seeing the lingual surface of those anterior teeth. Good practice here. We could try and rescue that. Let's not. Let's do it the right way. So what the right way is, we do the occlusal scan. And as we come around to the anterior region, just rock the scanner a little bit. So as we see those incisors, we're rocking the scanner just a little bit, just to capture a little bit of the buccal information. Let's do that again. Face towards me, please. And head back, relax. Okay, so starting at the back, and we sweep forward, and as we get to the anterior region, you can see the scanner only sees the lingual detail. But just let's rock the scanner a little bit. Oops, get back to where we were. Rock the scanner a little bit, just to capture a little bit of lingual, in, a plate of buccal information, and then we move back from there. And then you can see we've captured a nice level of detail. So let's complete this scan. We've got occlusal detail, we've got a nice level of lingual detail, and a nice level of buccal information as well. So let's complete the scan. We're going to continue on lingually. Buckle sweep in two stages. Start at the back and come to the midline. Then start in the back on the other side and come to the midline. Can you read and turn towards you, please. Perfect. And the reason being there, as we saw with that, in that situation where we had a bad occlusal scan, and then we went straight in and we did the buckle scan, everything was kind of okay as we came to the midline, and then things started getting worse and worse and worse. So if we do the buckle sweep in two stages, we don't, if, even if there is a slight discrepancy there, a slight error, we can get out of jail. We can do the buckle scan to the midline. Don't give that error a chance to start creeping in. Come to the midline, come to the midline from the other side, and we end up with a really nice occlusal scan like what we've got here. Okay, I hope you found that nice and useful. Thanks.